Paris, France was attacked in six locations this past weekend. Um, the, the culture which looked at the Israeli uh, Palestinian conflict and, and blame the Israelis for the Palestinian terror against them suddenly now looks different. You spent a lot of time in Europe yourself. What are, what are the Europeans finally coming to understand about uh, Israel's plight and, uh, and the threat of Islamism on their own shores? I would think that uh, the Europeans would learn from this. I don't think they will. I think that uh, they're so brainwashed into the progressive uh, leftist um, mindset. mindset, as it were, that uh, it's just impossible for them to literally to survive, to pick up a gun, to defend themselves, to say that this is evil. What they'll probably try to do is like what Obama does, is say this is a police action, it's a few individuals, uh, Islam is a religion of peace, we have to get rid of some of these radicals. Well, that's not how it works. The whole religion is about, it's a tyrannical uh, element that uh, that's, it's, its vision is world conquest mm -hmm. and the subjugation of anybody that doesn't bow down to Allah. So I think that, um, first of all, it, it's, uh, I, I find it I, interesting as uh, history plays itself out once again, uh, the fact that um, it was okay for them to murder and gas and rape and dispossess six million Jews. Everybody was quiet then. Only now is everybody getting excited about 160 or 100 people that uh, got murdered, and now we hear people starting to talk. Where was that talk and uh, activity um, in the uh, early 40s and late 30s in Germany and in Europe? So I look at this as you can, you can s draw your own conclusion. I find it ironic that a society that was built on uh, an Aryan cult trying to uh, was, uproot Ger the German society, uh -huh. trying to uproot, even though it didn't occur in Germany, it was France. I consider the French even more anti-Semitic than the Germans. And now that's a, that's a, uh, that could, could be argued. And does that come from Catholicism? I don't know, it does, but it's a fact. The French are way more uh, anti-Semitic than the Germans. Mm -hmm. And the fact of the matter is, is that um, they decided to get rid of the Jews who were nothing but um, a positive influence in their society uh, in terms of commerce, in terms of education, Referring culture, art, everything. Which people? And the Jewish people. No, 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 but you say they got rid of the Jewish no, people. It doesn't the matter. The, the Europeans uh -huh. have turned their back on Israel, on the Jews, have de declared war on Judaism and on Israel, and instead, in, and now, in their, and now we see them welcoming the very forces that, of darkness that will destroy them. So it's a very complicated picture, but it's basically a uh, civilization that that's ready to commit suicide. That's the only conclusion we can draw. They're taking people into their midst that are sworn to kill them and rape their daughters mm -hmm. and uh, dispossess them, and they're. They can't get enough refugees, so uh, what can we conclude from that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you think that they're viewing Israel and Israel's fight any differently now that they're seeing um, the nature of this uh, 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 terror? I don't know if it's, they're going to connect it to the fight of Israel. Uh, first of all, if they want to survive, they'll, they'll find the means to, to survive. They're not going to worry about you know the fight that Israel has. They they never worried about it before. I don't think they'll ever ever worry about it. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is is that the culture has been so de deballed, excuse that phrase, or de de emasculated, yeah. uh, that um, the people literally have no sense in uh, in in personal survival. So we we see people like I mentioned before, people that are very excited about life and are willing to kill themselves, to blow themselves up, immolate themselves, as long as they can get back at the infidel. And these are people that are going to succeed. If you're excited about something and you're determined and you know that you're right, you will, you will ultimately will prevail over people that are weak-kneed and uh, you know, uh, just uh, don't have the backbone to, to survive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, we're in a synagogue here in, uh, in the United States, if you were to ask the majority of uh, synagogue rabbis throughout the U.S. that they would uh, 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 take the, the, uh, uh, the tack that um, we should uh, and, uh, uh, grieve and mourn 
and, uh, and, and associate ourselves with the victims rather than uh, vigilance for the Jewish people or, or, or for uh, Western civilians. Yeah, again, that's, a, that's a, 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 um, an example of the sickness and the pathology that uh, is pervaded itself in the Western culture. Uh, I, I mean, can't, lighting candles and mourning and breastfeeding and all that for the dead, that's fine, but let's make some positive uh, you know, decisions to, uh, to survive and to turn things around. I don't see that happening. Apparently, some of the countries are closing their borders. Well, that's not going to do any good. You've got millions and millions of uh, Muslims within the country that are citizens who are basically Trojan horses for the, um, the Muslim uh, uh, you know, juggernaut that is determined to turn these countries into Sharia-compliant countries. So, you know, you can close your borders, that's fine, but now within your borders, You've got an alien population that is uh, basically at war with you 24-7. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't see anything uh, that uh, indicates uh, that other than compliance with the, the um, Muslim, um, uh, you know, uh, the Muslim um, uh, script. Uh, other than that, I don't see the countries doing anything to survive. Mm-hmm. How do you suppose this bodes for... Uh, American attitudes beyond this week uh, in planning out a, a future after Obama? Well, first of all, one way we differ from the Europeans is that uh, there's two words. It's called Smith and Wesson. <laughs> and the uh, Europeans don't have that advantage. Uh, we, do have a, we still have a Second Amendment. Uh, the Americans are still um, they're aware of what's going on. And... Uh, as somebody mentioned before, that's the reason why the Japanese didn't attack uh, the United States, because they knew that we had so many weapons there, there was nothing they could do here. Um, however, we are slowly but surely being, um, uh, just like the Europeans, dumbed down, and uh, that Islam is a you know, religion of peace and all that sort of thing. And we have Muslim Brotherhood activists within our own government, within our uh, Justice Department, within our armed services, and our our police. Mm-hmm. So we've, we've got definitely, the, the enemy is definitely within us. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is going to be a very big challenge. Mm-hmm. While, while not a, a congregational rabbi yourself, do you feel that rabbis and uh, members of the clergy have uh, a business to be involved in uh, politics and uh, at, uh, uh, the condition of society outside of religion? I think that it, whether you're a rabbi or not, you're an American, and you owe your uh, you owe your uh, credence and you owe your life to the very fact that we have a constitution here, which enables you to be a private citizen and enjoy individual liberties. So just by that very, you know, the nature of things, we need to speak out, we need to educate, we need to advocate, and. Uh, in, in as, far as, as far as the fact that we are leaders and quote-unquote uh, enlightened, perhaps, all the more so is it uh, incumbent, incumbent upon us to speak out and uh, to let uh, our fellow Americans know what's going on. Because if we don't speak out, then who will? 